The Ray movie isn't real. It never was real. It's a sizzle reel. So say some out there in the commentosphere, giving their opinions about the Ray movie. Some people say the Ray movie is now canceled. It'll never come out. Some people say it was always a facade, a charade. We're here to tell you otherwise, although it gives us no great joy to tell you that the Ray movie is probably going to get done. But when we, when we come down to the bottom line about the Ray movie, things aren't looking good for it. It may go straight to Disney+. Plus. Hello folks, welcome back to the place where we believe that truth beats everything else. We go for it, we shoot for it, we try for it. And it seems you like it as well. You, of course, out there, you all are the electricity that drives this entire thing. We thank you for that. Today we're talking about the Ray movie and the fact that apparently, well, it didn't even have a script. That's what they're saying. We don't really believe that. We think it doesn't have a script that they can go with. We think there have been two really bad scripts. That's what we're hearing and that's what we're reporting because that's our what our sources say. And those sources also gave us the exclusive on the Ray movie happening. So we like those sources pretty well. But there's one thing for sure, and that is that the Ray movie is not in a good spot. It might also indicate why Charmino Bechenoy, the director of the Ray movie, was out there trying to say, it's time for a woman to lead Star Wars, even though Marsha Lucas already did that, and Kathleen Kennedy, although she didn't do so well. Um, but yeah, the Ray movie, uh, it's not in a good place. We're trying to figure out how it can even come to fruition. Like, it doesn't even have the box office potential. Disney Plus might be the only option. But all of that said, folks, we got a panel, and you want to hear their thoughts. So let's bring the panel in right now. All right. Uh, let, so me, this let me story, change our Chiron again. Star Wars <laughs> Mandalorian. What a day. They're covering this uh, Mandalorian movie over there on uh, Hollywood Reporter's Heat Vision blog. Uh, Aaron, can we, just, can we just say, uh, Jonas, too, that we have heard many people are now suggesting that THR is sort of a, a mouse piece for Disney? I would not be surprised uh, if they've lost the variety at times. Uh, yeah, uh, but, this but this this added news reinforces what you said about the idea of this is to take the stink away from uh, sock. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Obviously. OK. Grogu is heading to the big screen. Mandalorian and Grogu. Uh, they, they're leaving off a Star Wars story for some reason in here. Um, OK, here we go. Favreau, Lucasfilm head. Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm chief creative officer Dave Filoni will produce the feature, which the studio said will be the first Star Wars movie to go into production since uh, 2019 Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. So they are they are firmly putting this ahead of the Ray movie. Here. All right. So, so now wow. I, I think we've got an idea now of why Charmino Bechenoy came out and did what she did. Here's what this means, folks. This almost certainly has to mean this. I'm, I'm working on the fly here. We know that Lucasfilm, well, let, let's just say, let's put the disclaimer, rumor and speculation from here on out. Um, I, I quote unquote know that Lucasfilm had uh, an area set for production that they have paid for, rumor and speculation. What this would mean is that they're probably putting the Mandalorian movie into production in that spot. And we know that that was probably reserved for the Ray movie because Charmino Bechenoy had said in interviews that they were going into uh, production in 2024. So by virtue of the fact that this is the one going into production, it's the first one, I can't see any other way to, to, to understand this, then this is taking that spot, this is taking that production set and moving the Ray movie into production maybe next year. Now, the other, the other issue that happens here is that by moving the Ray movie into next year, this really calls into question whether or not Ray is going to happen. Uh, because Daisy Ridley, you know, I know that Ray is her biggest thing, but she's got other things she's got to do. So how long did this delay the Ray movie? I don't know. But it does seem to me, based on what you're saying, based on what this says, probably they kicked Ray out of her production set and moved uh, the Mandalorian on there. Yeah, going to into, going uh, back to the article to uh, to uh, to just continue with the reframing. Uh, first of all, they're saying show's third season bowed last year. Oh, went the wrong way with the uh, highlight there. Uh, launched a number of spinoffs. They're calling Book of Boba Fett a spinoff. That's okay. Ahsoka. They're also calling a spinoff. Interesting, uh, but they're also mentioning the fact here again. If Hollywood Reporter is a mouthpiece for Lucasfilm, they're specifying no, no, that December nineteenth Disney. Okay. Uh, either way, and Favreau being here uh, in this article, uh, 
they're saying December 19th, 2025. When they've talked about the Ray movie, oh. they've talked about 2026. So this is uh, jumping the line here uh, for sure. Uh, so keep, by the end of next year. Keep, keep, okay, keep reading. Uh, there, there's something I'm, I got to look up real quick. All right. So the development potentially marks a turning of the page for Lucasfilm. That's exactly the narrative I would want out there if I was Disney, which has struggled to articulate a vision. Wow, that's a nice way to put that for what Star Wars should be on the big screen. Ouch. Developing multiple properties that could never make it over the finish line. That is a reference to everything that has not come out. The list of more projects that have been in development than have ever been put on screen by Kathleen Kennedy's Disney Star Wars. But last year at Star Wars Celebration in London, the Disney-owned studio revealed plans for three projects that seemed to be moving along, including Ridley's. Others include a big screen movie set to be directed by Dave Filoni, uh, which is also expected to feature characters from the Disney Plus show. Then there's another set in the distant past from James Mangold, though that project is furthest away in terms of being a reality. Um, I, I, maybe I'm misremembering this. Uh, can anybody help me out here? The the project no, that was no, directed by Dave Filoni, was that the Mandoverse movie? Yes, Dave yeah. Filoni was supposed to be directing the Mandoverse movie. What? Jonas, what day did you say this is supposed to release? Uh, they are not specifying a date, but the article points out that there's a spot on December 19th, 2025. So two okay, years. So, so it's going to take Avatar 3's slot. Okay. Yes. This is, and, this is, and by the way, there is there is Avatar news that we're ignoring that also dropped this morning. Uh, they're they're <laughs> talking about getting back into production soon. So it's I don't know what happened if they just turned on the spigot, but yes, there's a lot moving today. Okay, that means Avatar 3 has to slide down into the next year. That means that there's not a slot for a Star Wars film the next year that there was previously. Okay. <sighs> I, 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 we'll, have, we'll have to do some research, talk to sources on this, but uh, there, there's, there's some bigger stuff in this THR article that's not being explicitly stated, but that we need to get on <laughs> in terms of investigating right. real soon. I, is it too conspiratorial to think that if we were right, that the reason why uh, SOC was doing what she was doing was to guarantee that she'd get a feature budget because she was worried they wanted to cut back, that this could be a, oh, yeah, in your eye. You have to wait another year. Well, Lou, what I'm looking at is we've got, they say that uh, Dave Filoni is going to direct a Star Wars movie still. They say that John Favreau is over this, and it's it's going to come out in 2025 in, in December. Taking I mean, the Avatar slot. It, if we're speaking conspiratorially here, if if there is some friction between Kathleen Kennedy and Bob Iger, where Kathleen Kennedy is making some kind of moves in order to solidify her power here at Lucasfilm, uh, naming Filoni as the chief creative officer of Lucasfilm, I don't think that's something that the that Bob Iger would necessarily be ecstatic about, um, unless they're just like like we've speculated in the past uh, that they're trying to project some kind of stability there. But Favreau here. That projects stability for Lucasfilm in a way that they couldn't with any other name. And, and right here, I just want to read this statement. Tuesday's news further solidifies Favreau and Filoni as the most important writers and directors in the Star Wars galaxy. I couldn't write a better statement if I was in the position of Disney or Lucasfilm to say, guys, they've got this covered. Uh, I'm not saying that they have this covered. I'm saying this is the image that they want to project with uh, this kind of announcement. And, well, and yet there's nothing to wash off the stink that was Ahsoka. There's but, there's no coming back from that. But, let me uh, let me tell you what I was going to say, though. It's not the controversial side. Then I want the panel's uh, a take on this. What I was going to say, Jonas, is that if I'm looking at this correctly, and I'm looking at the slate of, of movies now, based on this one being inserted, it looks to me like, although I cannot say certainly, it looks to me like they're going to have to move one of these movies either to Disney Plus or it gets pushed way, way back, like 2028, 29. I think, I think there is no way you move, John. I think you can you can pull putting a Ray movie on Disney Plus, and there are some people who will be very upset about that. But putting John Favreau, one of the hottest filmmakers out there, that right, has he's not going to Disney name, Plus. No. Putting him on Disney Plus as a premiere, I think I think I think Disney now understands the stink that is on Disney Plus. John Boyega tried to warn us, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I think the Ray movie is in danger of going to Disney Plus at this point. Pro, when you just said that would be the statement that Disney would want out there. Jonas, would you scroll just up a little tiny bit? Oh, please? yes, absolutely. Because you know how I am. I look at all the other stuff on the stop. 
Do you see what it says over there on the right in this ad for the reporter? <laughs> Do you lie for a living? <laughs> Don't you lie for a living? <laughs> you know, there's some Freudian slip stuff that happens on these pages that just uh, constantly amazes me. Oh, that's fabulous. And folks, that is a wrap for today. Not a wrap for Ray, though. There's going to be so much more coming out about this. It is a train wreck. They put Daisy Ridley on the stage with no real plan. The plan was we got to redeem Ray. And uh, that's a Bob Iger initiative, we believe. We'll see what they do with it. It's almost impossible that they can go back now on it. They've got to put something out. But again, I just don't know what they can do other than toss it to Disney+. Plus. They're, they're in such a bad situation right now. And the Mandalorian movie, by the way, not any better because they're going to take that. Uh, they're going to take the final two episodes, apparently, of season four and turn that into a movie. Uh, you know, this kind of reminds me of uh, DuckTales, the movie. You remember DuckTales, the movie, where they kind of, they did an Aladdin at the same time they were doing an Aladdin. And in comparison, the real Aladdin versus DuckTales, the movie, and the magic lamp, not so good. Although, you know, in all fairness, DuckTales, probably much better than the Ray movie. But you get the idea. All right, folks. That's it for us. Like, share, subscribe. Click it, stick it to the algorithms. It's the notification bell. Drop a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. And wherever you are and whatever you're doing, no matter where you might be on this great, big, beautiful planet of ours, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun.